project, I started with the 4x4 canvas that I had painted white. And then I took Artist Loft Iridescent Medium and I put one coat of that on it and let it dry overnight. And this is how it looks dried. It really is pretty and shiny. Then I took these three heart molds and I've used each of them for a different project. And with this project, I'm actually using the smallest heart mold. And these heart molds I did pick up on Amazon. There was actually four of them for $11.99. So I pre-mixed the resin off camera and I poured about a quarter inch of resin in the bottom of each of these molds. And then I took my gold reflective glass, it's actually fire glass that I picked up on Amazon, and I put that on top of the resin just so that and made one layer just so that each piece was actually touching resin. When I was done with that, I took another layer of glass and made a second layer, piled it as high as I could, and then took the resin and just drizzled it over the second layer so that resin was touching each piece to be sure that it was holding it in place. Now this has to sit overnight. After 12 hours, you can usually demold it. It takes a full 72 hours to set. And this is art resin that I'm using for this project. So for this next part, I used uh, three different products. I used a mica powder from Eye Candy, uh, the color red. I'll link it in the description. And also another Eye Candy mica powder called Snowflake. And then uh, Artist Gloss Varnish. And of course, you can use any varnish you want as long as it's clear. And then the next day, I took it out of the mold. And you have to be really careful when you're demolding it. You need to go around the edges carefully to make sure nothing's stuck. Because when using your heat element to get rid of the bubbles, you can melt the mold to the glass or the resin. And it can cause tearing. So you have to do it very carefully. So next, what I did was I mixed these three products up. And of course, here I'm using a cup that I had used the day before. That's why there's red in the bottom. There might be a little bit left, I guess, from the day before. But I take the red eye candy mica powder, just a tiny bit, and the snowflake eye candy mica powder, just a tiny bit, and mix it with this Artist Gloss varnish. And you really don't need that much. And it comes up this um, beautiful metallic sparkly red. It is so pretty. And then I'm just taking it and painting it along the edges and then making like a quarter inch uh, border on top of the glass on the very top of the heart. And it turns out so pretty. It is such a pretty um, metallic sparkly red. I don't know if you can see it, um, if it looks as good on the camera as it does in person, but it certainly is pretty. And then that should really dry for probably about an hour before you do anything else with it. And that is so pretty. It's just very metallic and uh, sparkly. So next it was ready for resin and I had to put the canvas up on top of a cup because when it drips down your canvas, um, the resin would dry stuck to the protective paper underneath. So you always have to put it up on some kind of a cup. And I pre-mixed the resin off camera. It's art resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin. And I just went ahead, put some on, and with my gloved hand, smoothed it out all over the canvas because that's really all you need. And then I took my little uh, pieces of jewelry. It's actually um, jewelry beads, I guess, with the letters on it. And I just uh, put them up on top of the resin. I didn't even put resin over that or any more resin over the heart because um, that will dry and stick to it perfectly fine. It'll be great. And the best thing to use to move things around in the resin, on the resin, is a toothpick. They work really good and um, a good way to make a straight line with these letters here. And I just think they're so cute and I love the gold. I'm almost wondering if they have silver up there. I might go back up and see if they have the silver if I can order them online. Anyway, this needs to sit on a flat level surface overnight 
and after 12 hours you can usually touch it but art resin takes a full 72 hours to cure at temperatures between 72 and 85 degrees fahrenheit hey everyone this is so tiny you probably can't see it but this is something cute to do with those little um four by fours because i had bought a bunch of them when they were on sale you have to i got these from michael's and look at how thick they are look at how thick that canvas is i think it's so nice and um, I mean, this can just stand up on its own. It doesn't have to be leaning against anything. And um, just keep your eye open at Michael's because they have good sales. They've even had them buy two, buy one, get two free. And when I picked them up, they were 70% off. These come in a pack of uh, nine, I think, yeah. So anyway, and those little, so doesn't that look pretty? I think that is so sparkly and pretty and I love the red around it. And can you see the words, um, love you. And those are, that is actually jewelry beads that I got from Michaels. They have them in the bead section. And I want to say they were $5.99. But um, you, if you're on their uh, uh, site, you can always get a 20% off coupon and you get a ton of them in there. I mean really a ton of them and I'm making a few other videos with these little uh, things little uh, jewelry letters I guess you call them I don't know <laughs> anyway I just think that's so cute like that um, I love the little art just as well as the large ones so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you want to be notified of future videos um, go ahead and subscribe and I hope you all have a great day thanks for watching mm -hmm.